candidate for the metronome, okay? You have good rhythm, you play in tune really nice, you got a, you got a nice little feel going there, okay? She needs a bigger violin now. The violin's too small for her, sacrificing a lot of tone. But what, what you need to do, what I, if, you, if I was giving you a lesson, I was working with you, the first thing we would do is we would back up and we would work with a metronome and lengthen your bow because you're using a little short bow and you get your tone out of your violin from the amount of hair you get on it. That's, where you, that's why waltzes sound so beautiful because there's lots of hair getting put down on it. And you're using these little short bows and you're just not strong enough to get the kind of sound you need. If you would play with a metronome at 100, Jackie, could you put that on and just let her try it? Have you ever played with a metronome before? Mm. Well, then you just have really good rhythm. And that, you know, it's like That's Jackie awesome. says, you ever notice some people have rhythm and the rest don't? <laughs> you know? I, I want you to try and play that song at that speed right there. So it'll be do 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 But here's what I want you to do. When you play in your upper third of your bow, this is perfect up here. But I want you to use a bow stroke about that long. Just nah, nah. You know what? Try it on your A string. Before you do that, I'm going to sing. Help her a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I would just... Try just connecting your strokes. So you just go down, up. And don't stop your feet.
the bow kind of drives your notes. So the, what that means is when your bow's going, the notes are just going to fall into place for you. But you have one thing that's causing you a little bit of trouble with your notes. It's, it's the only thing. And what's happening is when you're playing, you're holding your fourth finger below your violin. And every time you get to a fourth finger, you have to bring it around, and it's slowing you down just a tiny bit. So when you're playing, and a lot of people, what happens is when we first learn to play, we only do these three fingers, and we like ignore this. So people either stick it straight up or they stick it underneath. But it needs to be out. Do you see how your? Did you see how it was? Yeah, down like that. What you want is you want it to curve like your other fingers, and it's going to be hard if you have to pay attention to it. But if you can keep it up there, every time you go to a chord, you have to bring it all the way around. You have to like wait for a second. You'll see it on the video when you look back. It slows so you down. it slows you down just a little bit. So if you can keep that four up and ready to go, that's something you'll have to practice at home. We can't really fix right here. But sounds really nice. So good job. Good